Hey, I'm Dr. Greg Ellis, and I want to talk about Dr. Barry Sears' book, The Zone. It was published in 1995. This book took the world by storm. It's very, very popular, and his program of what percent of your daily calories should be made up of carbohydrates, fats, or proteins was the, is and was the famous 30-40-30. So that's 30% of your calories is fat, 40% of your calories is carbohydrate, and 30% of your calories is protein. This, Dr. Sears argued, would put you in the favorable zone. What is the favorable zone? It is particularly when insulin is balanced against the other pancreatic hormone, glucagon. And this was also favor favorable to something he called icosanoids. And these are things that he decided were very, very important to weight control and to optimal health. That's his icosanoid theory. Now, interestingly, Barry Sears, to me, is a member of the establishment. He's a PhD, and he wanted to create an environment in which we could control insulin and not have it go too low. Now, insulin is a nasty, nasty hormone. You really don't want it. You want to get it as low as possible. This isn't the attitude that Sears took. He felt there was a favorable amount of insulin in your body, and what he was trying to do is avoid ketosis. What is ketosis? Ketosis is when free fatty acids leave the fat cell, get into the blood, and go to the liver. There the liver makes them into ketone bodies, and those free fatty acids arise as carbon chains coming into the liver, with 16 carbon atoms, and they get cleaved two at a time. The body recombines two of these, two pairs together, and that's a ketone body. That's released from the liver to get into the circulation where it goes and fuels all the tissues of your body. Now, it takes a while to adapt to an increased level of ketones. A low-carb diet will cause the body to make a lot of ketones. Sears was trying to keep the ketones level. Now, it's been long known that there is a physiological ketosis and a pathological ketosis. Pathological is in diabetes where the manufacture of ketones in the liver is uncontrolled. What typically happens then in physiological ketosis, which is where we want to be, the pancreas continues to secrete a background level of insulin, and insulin's primary job then is to go to the fat cell and stop the release of fatty acids, free fatty acids, which are the source of the manufacture of the ketone bodies. Because Dr. Sears is a member of the establishment, he bought into the idea that fat was involved in causing heart disease and other dangerous diseases. So he, that's why he chose 30% as the amount of fat in the diet, because this is the low-level recommendation of the establishment. You want to get 30% of your calories as fat. That's been long the goal since the 1950s. And the carbohydrate percent is 40. Now, this is a bit of a reduction over the amount that a lot of people eat, which can be as much as 50 to 70% of their daily calories. So he felt comfortable that this would reduce the insulin to safe levels. But believe me, 40% of your calories is carbohydrate. is much too much. That's going to still lead to a very significant production of insulin throughout the day. And as I said, insulin is one nasty hormone. It's the cause of a lot of diseases. It's the cause of aging. And you don't want it in your body. So that's how we got this prescription. And everybody just jumped on it because they believed what Dr. Sears had to say, that this was going to be good, good for your health. Now, if you also follow the recommended diet in his book, you will find that you are under eating in calories. So that's the primary reason why people began to lose weight on this, because they followed the prescription for what to eat in a day from the menus. They were maybe getting 1,700 calories a day. You're going to lose weight on that. There's no way around it. That becomes, then, the way that this book serves as weight control. Now, will people stick to the zone program? Probably not. They don't stick to any diet at all anyway. But this is not one you want to do. The carbohydrate content is entirely too high. The threshold for carbohydrate reduction that I have observed is about 25% of your total calories. That's when you'll begin to get a response 
in the proper hormone relationship. So the, the key hormonal picture or environment in the body is the ratio of insulin to glucagon. Insulin stops the release of fat from the fat cell. It also helps glucose enter the cells, particularly in the fat cells where it becomes a source of fat. Glucagon's primary job is to cause the production of ketones in the liver. So the insulin glucagon ratio is a very important controller. We want glucagon to be high and insulin to be as low as possible. And to get the, the carbohydrate count down to even 10 to 15 percent of your total daily calories is going to make a significant contribution to reducing your insulin and maintaining your glucagon and keep you in ketosis. You want to be in ketosis. Now, most clinicians have believe that ketosis is pathological, that it's not good. And that's another reason why they are against the low-carbohydrate diets, because they say it causes ketosis, which is a very unhealthy situation. That's a mistake. This has been known since about 1970, when it was written up. Well, it's been no longer than that, but the actual writing up of saying there is a physiological ketosis and a pathological ketosis has been around with us that long, and the clinicians still don't know it. So hunter-gatherers and people who follow low-carb diets are in ketosis. Now, these ketones, Atkins tells us that these ketones will spill over in the urine, and we can tell if we're in a fat-burning mode by measuring the ketones in our urine. Problem is, after three or four weeks, your body adapts to burning the ketones, and it burns them all. There's nothing left to spill over in the urine. In the first couple of weeks, you don't have the enzymes to process these ketone bodies, so they do spill over in the urine because you can't, you can't use them. You can't use them as a source of energy. So that's the key, and that's about the zone. It's not a particularly good program. Uh, I've never followed it because I knew that it was just too high in carbohydrate. And, of course, I'm not a believer in the fat theory of heart disease or that saturated fat is in any way a problem. So he, like most other writers, has what he calls favorable carbohydrates and unfavorable carbohydrates. But all carbohydrates have the potential to be bad depending on the number of grams of carbohydrate that you consume in the course of a day. That will dictate the hormonal and nutritional profile in the blood. So there's a good roundup for you on the Zone program. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.